content warning. Flashing lights and images, sudden or fast change in colors, fast moving images and patterns, blood, cults, death, violence. This video contains spoilers for the game Bleakstead. You wake up on a bus at its last stop, the small desert town of Bleakstead, and you have no idea what to do. Created by Valerie Dusk, Bleakstead is a first-person horror exploration game. You'll explore the town, talking to the residents, getting hints and tasks that will help you learn of the forces at play here. The first thing you encounter in Bleakstead is the controls, namely their stiffness. You walk in full steps, so precise movement is impossible, every step pushing you much too forward. A hitbox much too wide where you'll bump into things where it doesn't feel like they should. A camera where you can unlock the cursor to look around while freezing movement to highlight objects, which in a game where you'll be picking up quite a few small items, brings back memories of pixel hunting. In some ways it reminds me of old 3D adventure games. There's resistance to every interaction. And as you explore the town, it fits. The game is unnervingly stilled in its visuals and audio. Aside from the small clusters of buildings in the trailer park, Bleakstead is surrounded by a sparse desert. There's a few people here. Beings appear static. Not just in looks, but dialogue. They're brief, offering only hints at predefined camera angles. You'll eventually find one that gives you a list of items to find for a ritual which is where the pixel hunt comes in. While you may get to move freely about the town, everything else is generally inert, dormant. The desert breathes. The pixels flicker as the wind blows through. Something is waiting to be awakened, and the ritual seems to be the best way to set things into motion. Once the ritual is complete, the town is gradually enveloped into a horrific landscape. With this, you gain a camera, that when shot in certain spots will make several structures of the other world appear, most likely worshipping spots for the cult in the town. When these sites are revealed, they dot the desert, but are still static. Just like the desert, the unknowable horrors resist continuous change, besides those glistening pixels. The camera in Bleakstead is a tool, but one with its limits. It has the power to change the world, but it's ultimately still change. Scenes can change, but aren't in motion. They appear and lie still. The horror has been neutralized somehow. By the end, when the town has been completely subsumed by the hellscape, the realization hits that the desert remains. In fact, it blends into the hellscape, making it a part of itself. There's a stabilizing effect throughout Bleakstead. Information is revealed about the cult, ritual, and world that's encroaching upon ours if you play but I found myself focused on the desert itself. The desert seems to contain all that enters it, neutralizing it to the point where it feels quaint. Early on, I noticed I could walk a decent amount away from the town before I hit an invisible wall. Turning around, I saw how quickly the town disappears into the sands, leaving only the sway of the desert winds. And that's a horror all its own. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon or Coffee. Patreon is if you want to support me monthly, and Coffee is for one-time support. These videos wouldn't be possible without the generous support of my patrons and coffees. Any amount helps this channel keep going. Anyways, here's my Twitter, my Instagram, my channel link if you want to subscribe, and some other videos I've made. Well, that's all I had to say. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you around.